Hi, everyone. It's Dale Powers, the Director of Color Guard for WGI. I wanted to take a few moments and clarify the process of going from our virtual competitive events to semifinals and then semifinals on to finals. Before I do that, let me explain how the semifinals is going to work. As you noticed, we have four virtual competitive weekends. We have two semifinals events. In weeks one and two, all the groups that qualify for semifinals from weeks one and two will go into semifinals event number one. And the groups from weeks three and four that qualify for semifinals will go into semifinals number two. So we'll then have two semifinals events and from there, a certain number of people will progress to finals. We'll get back to that a little bit later. Let's talk about going from a competitive virtual event to our semifinals event. As we did during our regular competitive seasons in the past, we're going to take 100% of the world class, 75% of open, and 50% of the A class. And that includes regional A and the junior class, which we've added this year for our virtual events. We do, however, have a maximum of 15 units that can move into semifinals from each class. but we're going to use that guideline of 100% of world, 75% of open, 50% of A, regional A, and junior. So if there are 40 groups entered, we would only take 15. That's the target maximum. Now there is a way that more than 15 could progress, and here's how. We start off by saying all groups that have a superior rating move on. Superior rating are groups that have a cumulative number of six to nine from both judges. Each judge has three boxes and they give you a one, two, three, four, five. So if judge number one gives you a one, one, two, which adds up to a four, and the next judge gives you a two, two, one, that's a five, you have a nine total, you have a superior rating. You would automatically move to finals. Just as if you also got one, 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 you'd have a six. If all the superior groups move on and we have not gotten to 15, we would go down to the next level, which is excellent. However, we would go to the highest rated groups in the excellent category. That would be the ones with a 10. So if you had a 112 and a 222 and it comes to a total of 10, your rating is excellent when you're at a 10. We would look at all the people in the excellent category that have a 10 add them to the superior groups, and that comes up to hopefully the 15. If that doesn't, we would go to the people in the excellent category that have an 11. Now, if we get to 15 and it exceeds 15 because more than some of the 10s or 11s, we take all of them. So we could have 17 or 18 going into semifinals. We could have 25 going to semifinals if a lot of people fall into certain categories. Some of these contests already have pretty large numbers, so that is possible that we could have a large number of people moving on into semifinals. So out of semifinals number one, we could have 21 units coming out of virtual weekend one, 16 coming out of virtual weekend two, just because maybe they all got superior or superior in the highest level of excellent. So we would then have a semifinals contest that's greater than the 30, that we would look at if it was a clean cut 15 and 15. Hopefully that makes sense. Now let's talk a little bit about going from semifinals to finals. The target maximum in finals in each given class, now remember finals is semifinals one and semifinals two, which moves people on. World class has a target maximum of 20, open 25, and A, regional A, and juniors have 30. Our intent is to take an equal number from both. However, we're going to still stick with taking all the superior rated units will progress to finals from both semifinals. So let's say in a particular contest, we had 17 superior rated units in one and 18 in the other, we would have 35 superior rated units. They would all progress to finals and finals would be 35 in a particular class, say regional A. If we didn't reach that target maximum of 30, then what we would do is go to the highest level of the excellent rated category, like we had done in prelims. But we would look at it from both semifinals. So let's say after we take the two 
superior rated groups from semifinals one and two, and we put them together and we have 24. We would then go to the excellent rated units, go to the highest number, which is 10, and we would take the tens from both semifinals. So let's say we add another eight. Now we could have 34, 35. We could have 45 that move on. We wouldn't exclude anybody. If once we go to a category, say the excellent 10 or the excellent 11, we would take them all. And if that number exceeds the target maximum, that's fine. And that's how we would put our finals contest together. So remember, the number of people that progress from prelims contests to semifinals and the number of people that progress from semifinals to finals is a little bit different. We are dealing with two contests that progress to each semifinals and then the two semifinals progress on to finals. We just look at those numbers and say, how can we get to that target maximum? And we would always go in favor of the unit and take a little bit more. I really hope this has been helpful and, and explains a little bit about how groups are going to progress on. Remember, you're competing against a standard, not against each other. So your goal is to achieve the highest rating possible, and hopefully you'll fall into that category and get to move on to the next contest. We're really excited about what this is, and we hope you are too. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at dale at wgi.org. And we'll be back in a week or two with another video where Carlo will explain the adjudication process.